Today, our fourth uh, presentation uh, is on uh, analysis of thermal effectiveness in Sri Lankan context, a research based on vertical greeneries of multi storied buildings. And the uh, presentation will be done by uh, 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 Sub Lieutenant uh, MCL Piris, and he will be supported by Pilot Officer SL Samar Singha. And uh, Mr. Piris. Uh, is a graduate from uh, Kotalaula Defence University from the intake 27th intake and uh, his research interests are in the green buildings a very opportune uh, theme in these days and uh, he is currently undergoing uh, training at SLNS Barana uh, uh, and uh, uh, his, uh, his uh, discipline is civil engineering let us welcome uh, sub lieutenant uh, mcl piris for to to do his uh, presentation For the introduction. Uh, a very good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are here to present uh, our research on thermal effectiveness in Sri Lankan context, a research based on uh, vertical greeneries of multi stored buildings. This research is to find uh, the thermal effectiveness of uh, vertical greenery in multi stored buildings uh, in Sri Lankan context. Uh, we are specially considering uh, on the temperature reduction. Uh, the specific objectives are to find the temperature difference with and without um, the vertical greenery in multi stored buildings. And to find out the thermal effectiveness and how, it's, uh, how it contributes to, to its uh, saving electricity, uh, actually saving energy. Green buildings are also known as sustainable or green construction that are environmentally sustainable and resource efficient throughout the building's life cycle. From siting to design construction, operation, maintenance, renovation and demolition. Green building strategies not only stands uh, for sustainable materials in the construction in forms of needs, reuse, site recycled and renewable resources, but also making use of natural processes such as shading, lighting, temperature control and aids in creating a healthy environment. It also helps to reduce the urban heat island effect, which means the difference, uh, the temperature difference between uh, the inland, actually uh, the urban areas and rural areas, very due to the uh, variation of green patch distribution. We can benefit on areas of uh, environment, aesthetic and economic. According to our secondary data, environmental benefits are uh, reduction of the urban heat, heat island effect, uh, improving air uh, quality, uh, enhancements, uh, enhancement of bio, uh, biodiversity, improving of rainwater conservation. Uh, and the aesthetic benefits that we can gain from uh, vertical greenery are green skyline as part of uh, city branding visual uh, relief from urban environment, enhance uh, architectural designs, create iconic landmarks in the city, screen and isolate uh, views, enhancing uh, public spaces, and also as economic benefits, reduction of cooling loads through better insulation and shading, improving acoustic insulation, increase in property values, and protection of building facades. According to a literature review, the key findings of this research uh, 
are uh, to effect uh, that the the key findings are that the effect of vertical greenery can be clearly observed uh, when the outside temperature is uh, uh, really uh, really more than a normal days because uh, you get the uh, you get a more temperature difference uh, when the outside temperature is high. Green buildings can be categorized into two main components, such as vertical greenery and, uh, and uh, horizontal green greenery. As for the research purposes, we have narrowed it down to the Sri Lankan context, and uh, the commonly found uh, uh, greener systems in the Sri Lankan context are uh, direct green facets and indirect green facets. Vertical greenery is the result of green uh, vertical uh, surfaces with plants, either rooted into the ground in the wall material itself or in plant boxes attached to the wall in order to cover the building with vegetation. A, fa a facade is simply uh, a standing structure uh, with bare climb, uh, standing structure uh, and climbers may be planted on base of the building which is known as direct green facades. Direct green facades are very low initial cost and give rise to uh, uh, surface maintenance problems due to moisture gathering uh, on the uh, building surfaces. And climbers may be planted on supports which are known as indirect green facades. Indirect green facades has an initial cost to put out supports such as cables, meshes, coated steel, galvanized steel, stainless steel, types of wood and plastic for the climbers to grow. And since it has an air void between the building and green cover, moisture does not gather and destroy the building surface. So it uh, kind of reduces the maintenance cost. Uh, my colleague, uh, Sabrina Mcilvery, will 